so just a bit of an update on uh, how the trout have, have, are going. If you want to just want to catch up on the last video, you can click on the link in the top left hand of the uh, of the screen there. And it'll take you back to the last video. Then you can come back come back and watch this one. Um, we did lose one trout. That's the one with the damaged tail. Um, what I didn't take into account because I've never had trout before is that they attack each other. So they saw a bit of a weak spot. So they went in for the kill, and he didn't survive, unfortunately. As you can see from the photos. Now, I did lose another another silver perch this morning, and I can actually probably see one. Maybe you can see it. There's a silver perch down there, right at the bottom of the pump, with some damage on his tail. I think I might have lost him. Now, here's silver perch don't travel very well. When they're older, when they're younger, it doesn't seem to be an issue. I've had fingerlings come in and not lost one. But um, silver perch, when they get older, get stressed so easy and they get a white fungus on their tail, on their body, most of their tail, and that generally is the demise of them. I lost quite a few fish that way. So I try not to stress them very much. I keep the lid down and keep them, keep them as quiet as possible. So the ones that have come in from Annette's house, um, a couple of them have got the white spot on their tails. And um, I lost one this morning. But the other two trout seem to be doing pretty well. They've assimilated. Um, you won't, probably won't see them. They've really moved in with the sewer perch. Where the trout used to swim around in the daylight. Uh, now they're just hanging, hanging, hanging with the silver perch and don't come out at all. Um, so I'll, I'll see you some more updates as time goes on with the main system updates. If you want to catch up on some of the other videos that I've got on my playlist, just click on the link above. It'll take you back to my updates. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Check out my new website, All Things Aquaponics. Um, and uh, have a good day and I'll keep you updated. Thanks very much.